morning brothers and sisters um, I just had a little word for you guys today um, it's been on my heart to talk about um, how we should all be together um, in our walk with the Lord we should all be of one mind and um, yeah it's been it's been something that I've looked at quite a lot um, with for example with my YouTube and there's lots of comments from people bickering about small details and um, yeah so I just thought I'd come on here and talk about just how that is it's not doing any favours to the body of Christ that when we get caught up on these small doctrine details like well I believe this but I believe this so then we're separate it's like that's no that's not what it's about those things are not the main focus the main focus is we're all children of God we all love the Lord with our mind body spirit soul we love the Lord foremost and then after that we love one another right so when we get into uh, minor details of different um, perspectives on what scripture is saying and well no I believe in this when I believe in that all of those details can make us really um, you know almost turn on each other and 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 then self-righteousness comes in into it like well I know better than you and you know all we know for sure is that Jesus came and died for our sins and that he is the Lord of our lives and that he he is just incredible and um, his love is what should be the first thing that is on our mind all the time is how loving our God is and in turn we want to love one another because of that and so it's just been it's been a, a crazy learning experience for me being born again into knowing that Jesus is Lord but then seeing so many separations and so many bickering between the church and um, that's not what we're called to do brothers and sisters we're called to unite we're called to love one another you know we're called to love our enemies so we need to love one another despite all of these small differences that we think this or this or this you know it's about Jesus about Jesus and what he's asked us to do which is love him and love each other and then all those extra details can be you know we can correct each other with love um, but when it comes into almost that way of like well no I'm more right than you and and there's like this dynamic of self-righteousness that can come out in the church and it just really puts us to shame and and just think you know if people from who people that from, from the perspective of people that don't know the Lord, this can push them away because they can see, hang on a minute, it's no different in the church than it is in the world. So we need to always be watching ourselves, brothers and sisters, and um, always speaking with love, even if we have disagreements. It's, um, the main purpose is to win souls, isn't it? You know, it's not about being right. I'm more right than you. You know, when you when you engage in discussion with a non-believer, the intention isn't to say, well, I'm going to prove myself right to them. It's to win that soul. You know, and so we must always be looking at the bigger picture of of how we're able to reflect the love of the Lord, so that other people can say, oh, you know what? There's something different about about these people. You know, they have a lot of love. You know, we need to spread what God intends us to spread and that's loving each other um, and so I just I wanted to read from um, 1st Corinthians 3 1 to 4 and I've got the King James Version here so bear with me if all thou thee and all of that you know um, so 1st Corinthians 3 1 to 4 and I brethren could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk, and not with meat. For hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are you able. For ye are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envying, and strife, and division, are ye not carnal, and walk as men? 
For while one says, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? You know? We, we turn into that carnal way when we're disputing all these little doctrinal things and, and, and it can make us lose sight of the love of the Lord. And it can become, instead of being righteous in Jesus, we become self-righteous of what well, I know more than this. And, and it's, a, it's a real big error that's in the church. And um, I just wanted to share with you a really interesting thing that um, my pastor explained in, in church a few weeks back, which relates to this, which is very interesting. Um, so, if I read from 1 Corinthians 1.10, Okay, so it says, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye speak all things the same, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment, that ye be perfectly joined. So we'll keep note of that word. And then if we go into Matthew 4, 21. And going on from hence, he saw other two brethren, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. So that there, mending their nets. Okay, now if we go into the Greek both perfectly joined and mending their nets is the same word uh, and I've got a Greek friend that's helped me with how to pronounce this um, so it said like katatizo I knew I was going to get this wrong katatizo Kat katatizo apparently that's how it's said ish sorry <laughs> and it's this word here okay and so, when he's saying to us, be perfectly joined, it's the same word as when they're mending their nets, you know? We, we, we all come together, we all join together. And I just, yeah, that was awesome. That's a really interesting find, really, that, that the Lord, you know, it's the same word as us joining together in one mind and also just like how the nets when you're mending the net you know you're bringing it all together there's no gaps it's it's all together and that's what we must do brothers and sisters that if we start to feel that self-righteous spirit coming up of like I know better than you remember we we who is to say who is right and wrong but Jesus Christ? And as long as we follow him and we love him with all of ourselves and we love one another, we can, we can correct each other in love, you know, when there's the spirit of error and, and it's through, you know, I love this person, I don't want them to get pulled into the wrong direction. Yeah, we can correct them in love, but if it's of a different spirit of like, well, I know better than you, we need to really... Um, we need to stop and 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 repent from that because that's not what that's not the spirit the Lord's given us when when we try and have one up on one another you know we're we're all the children of God we all love him and so we need to encourage one another and if there's a bit of error here and there through love you know but if it's like well I'm certain that I know and it's like really self-righteous spirit we need to be aware of those people um, and we need to be aware that that doesn't come through us also um, because the flesh can so easily take over but we are called to unite brothers and sisters we we are called to be of one mind and that is the mind of the Lord and loving him and loving each other so I just thought that might encourage you guys and keep strong in the Lord and I love you guys so much. God bless you.